Hi Sabre fans, Darth Alice here again and I wanted to show off my newest creation and I call this one the Electrum Jedi Council Katana or the Electrum Katana. What I've done here is take, and take a standard hilt that I got off Phoebe. I machined and milled it down to create a profile and there's a lot of little details in this I'll point out here. I won't take too long on this. I just want to show you what we've got. But I milled all this down to create the correct profile and hand grip. What I've also done is cut slots throughout here. And then also I've laid down a piece of copper to fit on the inside for its own internal type of type rail. Again, that's where all your electronics and batteries hide. Um, I also wanted to beef up the cover tech mount. I used a brass screw there, button head, and I also made my own little custom brass mount for the back of that with two Allen heads. The pommel, I reworked that whole thing as well. Added a brass piece of uh, a piece of brass back here again to balance everything out. And if you look at the back end, I used a couple gears, a screen, and I also wanted a turbine look for like almost like an air intake for high-end electronics, something that'll keep it cool while this thing is running. Towards the front end. I made my own control box for this, milled a slot into the saber so that'll inset into it. It's got a small momentary switch, it's real easy to use, and a custom brass kill key that I made on my lathe as well. I ran a small piece of leather here for an accent and also a grip point. From there I drilled all this out and used a piece of red jasper quartz that coincides with the blade, and I did this with an acrylic epoxy. So that thing is not going anywhere. It's almost growing out of the hilt if you look at it. Uh, I also turned custom brass pieces for the Suba mounts. If you look at the front of this, this is an old samurai. And it shows just a warrior here holding on to a staff. There is a whole history behind this. Custom turbine blade plug, as you can see. That's all part of it as well. All right, enough talk. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Neutrino version 1.0. Point okay, there's the boot up, and it's a Neutrino, and it's one of the newest soundboards. I like it. It's easy to wire. It's simple. It boots up, and it's plenty loud. I used uh, one of Plector Labs' two-watt high bass speakers in this thing, and I also reworked the chamber to make it more acoustical. And red and blue mix. And what's neat about this thing too, it doesn't have color mixing problems. They did a nice job on this board. Now look at that little red jasper quartz eye in there glow and light up. How cool is that? And as you can hear... And it's pretty sensitive too. I've got it on number one setting. I couldn't imagine anywhere beyond that. It's got cool flash sounds too. Alright, so now let's put a blade in. When I built this, I took and made two points for set screws. The cool thing about this, this has a three inch deep blade chamber. So this is a very thick walled dueling saber. I wouldn't be afraid to go in full combat with this with a heavy grade blade. Okay, here's an ultra blade that's wrapped. Heavy grade. As you can see, it's got a real nice flicker to it. There's five different flicker settings for the soundboard, two sound settings. There's also five different power levels, which I've got it on number three right now, which I feel is pretty bright. Here, let me close this window behind me and really see this. Ah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. And I can even kick the light on, too, and it's not going to blind it out too much. But people ask about the flicker effect, and there it is. That's number three to create more of a damaged blade look, which I do like. We'll turn that light back off. All right, folks, thanks for looking. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, this is a very, uh, very neat pet project I spent some time on. Oh, yeah, turning this thing off, you got to press and hold for like four seconds. And there you go. It has a real nice... Uh, real nice saber off feature and what's cool about it too you don't get the color mix or color separation when the blade goes down it stays a consistent purple thanks again folks darth alice here once again